this video I'm going to show you how to make elevations with what some call line quality or different um, pen widths and different shades of gray. Uh, the samples that you're looking at here are straight from Archicad uh, using you know what I'm going to show you here. If you want to see the whole tutorial on how to create this you know, and how to tweak them to your liking then I recommend you watch the other uh, video where I explain the whole process behind it. Uh, on the example you're going to see here, I'm just going to bring in those properties and those graphical overrides and I'm going to apply them to a model created in a, in a file from scratch. Uh, so you can just follow these steps, you, can, you should be able to work this on your own files. But if you want to understand, like I mentioned, the whole process behind it, then I recommend you watch the longer video for that. Okay, this is a, a standard project created in Archicad uh, using the template, the basic template. If you go to a new file menu, you're going to see that you have residential and commercial. In this case, I'm using residential template. Uh, and I just created these objects based you know, on Archicad out of the box elements. There's nothing uh, customized here. So the first step, if you want to use the uh, graphical overrides to change your elevation, I'm going to go here real quick to the elevation. So this is a standard Archicad elevation, right? This is what you get out of the box. Uh, the first thing we're going to do is just bring some properties options property manager and these are you know just standard properties on a, on a file in archicad i'm gonna minimize these so you can see where the other ones come in i'm gonna go to wherever you downloaded uh, the properties <clears throat> and import i have here you know tutorial i have properties and it should be a file called graphical represent graphic rep properties i'm gonna open it here and I'm gonna bring in the linked properties just to make sure that I have everything that's related to the properties that I'm bringing in. And I'm just gonna select your merge. Uh, <clears throat> well, how do you want to import these duplicates? Uh, probably duplicates where you wanna skip for now. And okay, properties are successfully imported. So I have now, you know, properties elevation right, left and back. As long as you can see uh, them and you can see this part right here, all oh, we're good to go. Uh, and now we're going to go to options, I'm sorry, document, graphic overrides, graphic override combinations. This is what you see from an auto, in an out of the box uh, file. I'm going to bring in here um, again from wherever you downloaded your files. You're going to have to uh, four different uh, graphical overrides, elevation back from left and right. So I'm going to now select them all four, and I click open, and now I see them here in Archicad. And with all these rules, uh, if you want to understand how these rules work, then I recommend you watch the other uh, video. So uh, as you can see now, you have the graphical overrides here available for you. In this case, I'm going to be working on the elevation front. Uh, so that's the override that I need to be using. And uh, why does that make a difference? Uh, obviously, in this case, I may want this element, which is closer to the viewer, you know, to have a pen width, a thicker pen width, but this object is not closer to the viewer if you're looking from the right side. This is why it's necessary to create, to attach properties to the objects that are relative to the elevation that you're looking uh, at. So uh, one thing that you also want to make sure is that you go to view, and on screen view options you're showing true line weight otherwise you're going to make changes and nothing is going to be displayed but if you are if you make sure that true line weight is is uh, enabled uh, then you will be able to see the changes here so we're going to be working on the front of this building so i'm going to just select here front um, now i'm going to select all the walls and uh, i'm going to go to properties and here now I can select from the you know properties, I can select different line thicknesses. So the way this was created is line thickness one is uh, closer or is front, you know, the thicker line, second or second plane, third and fourth plane, you know, creating farther and farther from you. And then I have one that I call silhouette, which is, you know, just like a grayed out one and then solid for things that I want, like pitch black, you know, like in this case, I may want to turn this uh, uh, land, piece of land to a solid element. So I'm just going to bring all the walls first as a starting point to thickness 3, right? And um, 
I see here that they have changed. Uh, I'm going to bring this one uh, to thickness 1 and I'm going to bring this one to thickness 2. And I can see there that there's some change in the different colors of the texture and also on the pen widths, right? Uh, they have two different pen widths here and then uh, different uh, deeper, deeper, you could say, uh, gray here than what is in the bottom. So this is pretty much how it uh, works. In this case, I'm just going to select this property here. I'm going to change uh, for solid. And now I have, you know, a solid ground here. If I want to change, you know, the, the roof, uh, this can be a little bit tricky because it's all one element. So I'm going to go here and change on roof and elevation front. I want to be four, right? But it's also changing the front one. So for this one, I may need to convert the roof into a different element so I can uh, select each one independently. So I'm just going to create into single plane roofs. I'm going to split it. And this may be not optimal for many, but it's a sacrifice if you want to have different properties, different pen sets. We have different elements, right? So um, uh, I'm sorry, I keep going there. Uh, <clears throat> I'm going to change this for thickness one, right? And now I have, oops, sorry, this one was, and actually we're going to be able to see here the difference. This one's was supposed to go to thickness two. Right, so we see how that changed uh, the representation. So these are the basics of it. Uh, now, if I go to the east elevation, I see that everything is well. I need to go to my elevation right because that's the right side of the building, and everything is just like it is straight from Archicad. So I can just go through the same process. You know, select all the walls and assign a pen type for elevation right. Uh, three. All right, I'm gonna select the roof. Right, this should be one, and this one. I changed it incorrectly. Elevation right should be one, and I could change here to the front as well. Uh, and change to three because I know that it's going to be three on the front. So this element in the front elevation, I mean, this is a very basic example, but on the front elevation is uh, number one, but I mean, on the right elevation, but in the front elevation, <coughs> it is three. So this is pretty much how it works. And this is why you need to have different properties for the different elements. I'm going to go back to the right elevation, which is the east one. I'm going to change my uh, graphical override to, and so this one should be elevation of right should be the thickness two, and maybe this one thickness three. So this gives you an idea of how of solid maybe this one <coughs> properties for elevation right is gonna be solid. So you're not changing the um, properties for any element. It's just a graphical override, something totally separate from the objects themselves. Um, so um, one of the things that you want to do though is probably set up then on your views south elevation i'm going to go to the view settings and i'm going to apply here you know the like combination is fine but i'm going to apply the graphical override elevation from because i know that's the front elevation and then for east i'm just going to go here view settings you see how it's back to normal but if i change the graphical override to right you know, it represents the width suppose. So I go to south. Uh, well, I'll change it. And elevation front is going to be one. So here it goes. So south elevation, 
this element is farther, this element is closer. Uh, right elevation or east elevation, this is farther, this is closer. And now uh, something that I created as well is uh, uh, an override for trees. Let's say, and I find insert here tree and object. <clears throat> back to the floor plan you know <clears throat> just show layer go to the elevations so I created uh, an override you know to make these elements grayed out uh, you may like it you may not uh, but I just thought it was useful and uh, and this can be turned off if you want to just remove it from graphical override. So I just go here. This is the south elevation. Um, so it's front. I'm gonna go to the graphical override combination. And this is the override here. So you can just remove it. And the object's gonna represent the way it does regularly in ArchiCAD. I hope this helps. Uh, I hope it's not too confusing. Um, I know it's a little bit of flying properties, but if you do this in AutoCAD, it's pretty much the same thing. You're selecting objects and changing layers uh, to the representation of each. If you want to add any sort of detail here, you can always do that, you know, by just going line and using the same line way that you are, uh, you want to represent, bring a line around here, but uh, you can always do that. You know? mm -hmm. <clears throat> and super line, you know, or do add any detail that you want to add to the element. I hope this helps.